Thanks, Joey. Well, the jury was delayed coming into the courtroom for about 20 minutes this morning as lawyers on both sides argued about witness testimony in the Alec Murdoch double murder trial. Murdoch is accused of killing his wife and son in June of 2021. It's day 26 and week six of that trial in Walterboro. We head to the Colleton County Courthouse for our coverage with Ann McGill. So Ann, the defense rested yesterday, but the prosecution isn't quite done yet. Not at all, Katie. You know, there's this old song by Frankie Valley that goes so close, so close, yet so far. Well, that's exactly what it felt like in the courtroom this morning. The defense, as you said, rested yesterday and is ready to move on with its closing arguments. But the prosecution is taking its time and said that it had not one, not two, but a total of seven, seven rebuttal witnesses that it still wants to put on the stand. And the prosecution says it's going to take its time and the defense is like, when will this be over? Let's take you inside of the courtroom right now. Now, defense attorney Dick Harputlian objected a total of 11 times this morning to the number of witnesses that the prosecution wants to put on the stand. Live 5 reporter Blair Sable even tweeted, oh boy, we're less than 10 minutes in and there have been at least eight total objections from the defense that I've counted. It's going to be a long day. Harputlian shared Blair's sentiment. Listen to what he said to the judge. Now, in this video, you will be seeing the face of lead prosecutor Creighton Waters, but you will be hearing the voice of Dick Harpootlian. Listen to this. I mean, this is a, a process that's got to stop at some point. We're going to be here next week. Dick Harpootlian also commented that the prosecution wanted to let no dead horse go unbeaten and that this simply has to stop. But the prosecution appealed to the judge saying that it was entitled to focus on specific issues um, that, the that the defense had presented that contradicted its expert witnesses. The first witness on the stand today, the former law partner of Alec Murdoch, Ronnie Crosby, and he talked about uh, Murdoch and uh, the lead prosecutor asked Crosby, so what was it like to work with Murdoch in the courtroom in a court case? And Crosby commented he could be theatrical. He could get emotional in front of jurors. Now, uh, Katie, the prosecution rebuttal witnesses likely will take the stand for most of today. And then tomorrow, the jury could be taking a trip out to Moselle to view the scene where those shootings happen, to view the scene where Maggie and Paul were shot and killed on that Monday night, June 7th of 2021. So, Ann, will the media be allowed to go along on that visit out to Moselle? Well, Katie, you know, yesterday, Judge Clifton Newman had sent a message uh, to the media saying that, no, he was not going to allow the media to go out there. But then just about an hour ago, we got an update and Judge Newman has changed his mind. He will allow a pool of journalists to go out there. That pool will consist of three people, one videographer, one still photographer and one print journalist. And that pool will take their information. They will share their images and their information with the rest of us here who are covering the trial. Reporting live from the Colleton County Courthouse in Walterboro, Ann McGill, Live 5 News. Thank you so much, Ann. Well, make sure you stick with us throughout the day. Our team coverage will continue all day. We'll have crews in Walterboro, as you saw with Ann, to bring you the very latest you can also find us online and on streaming platforms, including Roku, Fire TV, and Apple TV. You can also get real-time updates on the Murdoch trial through our live blog on live5news.com. Just click on the banner at the top of our homepage for new information throughout the day, straight from the Live 5 team of reporters and digital journalists.